Hey guys, this is Jared. Thanks for joining me. Guys, if you like what you see here, please consider subscribing. Also guys, I'm really excited. I'm doing a free empath webinar here on Wednesday at 11 a.m. Check it out, DM me, ask for the details if you want through Facebook, Messenger, Instagram, whatever, however, YouTube, however you can get a hold of me. Please send it out there and I'll put you on the list. So in this video guys, I'm gonna go into commitment, why we are afraid of committing. This is an issue that I've had in, in parts of my own life, but also it's way deeper uh, than just being afraid of committing. That's only like a little part of it. So first, I'm gonna go into why we're scared of commitment. Second, I'm gonna go into some of the misconceptions of being scared around of commitment. And then finally, I'm gonna show you how to get really focused and clear about what it is that you want so you can commit to something. So let's get into it. Many people say that they're scared of commitment, and for some people, this is true. Like for me, in my own life, it was true. I was in incredibly committed to one thing, the military, the Marine Corps, being the best that I could, doing everything that I, that I could do, and it turned out really, really bad in some ways. I learned a lot of great lessons. However, some of that at times was more than I felt like I could bear. And so when I came out of that experience, I definitely was scared of commitment after that. I, my energy was very fickle. I was like, I put both egg, or both, all, all my eggs in one basket. I put both legs in fully and I felt like the whole floor and the whole earth got swept out from under me it was completely ungrounding so after that I was like I'm afraid to put all my eggs in one basket I was so committed and I committed so hard to that one thing and then a lot of crazy stuff uh, happened that really changed the trajectory of my life and I'm not and sometimes I'm still not sure about the trajectory of my life and how it how it took after that so when I had that experience um, I learned an incredible amount I grew I feel like 300 years and four or five years but at the same time that shook me down to my core it shook me down to my bone it shook me down to who I I thought I was. It shook me so much that it made me question, wow, can I ever commit something, uh, can ever I commit that deep part of my soul self to something ever again? And it's been a long time since I've been able to make those uh, new commitments again and feel like I'm getting back into that state where I can commit to something as wholeheartedly as I did then. But guys, this isn't the real issue. A lot of people think that they're afraid of commitment, but it's not. That's not the real issue. What the real issue is, it's about patience and persistence. So for a lot of millennials, this is a problem and this is an issue, right? We've grown up, we've been conditioned into a culture and a world that says we can pretty much have whatever we want when we want it. That comes to the tangible things, right? Uh, you know, the car or uh, education. You can pretty much get whatever it is that you want this, these days, even if you grow up in a low socioeconomic status, there's scholarships, um, there's ways to get what, there's nonprofit organizations. If you really look, there's ways to pretty much get whatever it is that you want, wherever you're coming from, in terms of like the basic needs and the basic things that other people 20 or 30 years ago would have been like, dude, I would have killed for that. You know, we all have cell phones when we're very young, which only big wealthy businessmen had in the in the late 80s, early 90s. So we have access, and so we have so much access to privilege, and we've grown up in this type of world. So this has conditioned our minds to think that we can have everything over. Overnight, and it includes those intangible things like fame, success, and fortune, which for a rare few that is possible, but for the other 97% of us, that's not true. And this is where we get caught up. A lot of people think that they have commitment issues. It has nothing to do with commitment. It's about patience and persistence. The real question is, are you willing to put in the time, the energy, and the effort over years, if not decades, to reap what you sow? When you know, when we go out into the world, we put seeds out there. We the our actions are seeds. We're putting seeds into people, we're putting seeds uh, into places, into occupations, jobs, uh, relationships. So every action, think of that as putting a seed. In the yoga tradition, it's called a biji, or a bija, I think I'm saying that right. But you put a seed into everything that you do. Whatever action you take, is it's reap it, you're putting a seed in and it's going to reap something back and a lot of us have been conditioned to think that we can just get everything really really quickly and so we try one thing and then it doesn't work out as quickly as we hope and so we move on to the next thing think it's something else and then that doesn't work out so we think it's the thing we're, we're doing it's not it's the way that we're doing it 
If you want to succeed in anything in life and, and, and get known for it, build wealth or um, get known around the community or just get involved in life, then that's going to take years, decades of hard work, patience and persistence, time, energy and effort. So the real question you need to ask yourself is, am I willing? Am I willing and am I ready to actually invest the amount of time and energy that I have to in order to get what I want? Because this isn't something that you can get overnight. You know, a lot of people sometimes they, uh, some of the dreams of like the youngest generation is being YouTube famous or being Instagram famous or Facebook famous or all this other stuff. And I'm not saying that's not possible, but anything that you want to do is going to take a lot of hard time work. It's going to take you uh, a lot of, it's going to ask for you to put in a lot of energy and you're going to have to give a lot of value. And that's something that our generation is not used to. The millennial generation and the, the generation under us is not used to putting in that hard time, work and effort. I'm not saying that we're not hard workers because I think we get a bad rep, but at the same time, we, we don't have a clear understanding. I know I haven't, and it's not really been until the past two years till I started doing my own thing. Did I realize, wow, it takes a lot of hard time, effort and energy over a long period of time to really make some great headway. So just be patient and persistent with whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's a relationship, starting up a business, nothing comes quick, guys. We've been programmed by the movies to think of true love happens overnight. Uh, we've been conditioned by the movies to think that we can have money, wealth, and success overnight. Rarely do things work like that, okay? It takes time, energy, and effort. You have to put in your spiritual dues, and your spiritual dues are that blood, sweat, and maybe tears. Uh, I, you know, you, you have to, you do have to work hard. You have to commit to yourself and commit to the people and offer true value to the world and true service to the world in order to get to a place where you feel like you've, you've really deserved and earned what it, whatever it is that you've put out in the world. I'm not saying that it doesn't have to be hard, but I'm not saying that it's going to be easy either. You really got to put in a lot of time, energy, and effort. Whatever you put in is what you're going to get back. That's how life works. You put it in, you water it, you take care of it, you're going to grow a tree. End of story. It's that simple. That's what it comes down to anything in life. You know, if you plant a lot of seeds and you take care of that those seeds and you put, put water in, you're going to have fruit. It's the same thing with anything else in life. If you're taking the necessary actions, you're doing what you need to do, and you're building the business, you're going to build a business. Uh, if it's the same with a relationship, if you really love someone and you care about them and you're putting action, time, energy, and effort into them, they're going to feel that and that relationship's going to grow. Wherever your energy and attention uh, goes, that's, that's what's going to expand, guys. All right, now how to get committed. Really, how to get committed is a question of willpower and a question of passion, okay? So we only have so much willpower, and trust me, I used a lot of my willpower to, to perform how I did in the military, and I was like burnt out after that. I said, oh my gosh, I used so much willpower, I could never do that again. So next, you need to really find what your passion is. What lights you up? What gets you up in the morning? What, what are you really passionate about? And that's going to help you f become more committed. The more passion we have, uh, the more committed we will be naturally. And the second ingredient to that is learning to be clear, learning to be concise, learning to be focused, learning to hold true to your decisions. It's called willpower. There's going to be times where you want to do things uh, or you don't feel like doing things and that you're going to have to step it up. Your willpower is going to be like... I don't want to do this, but this is my passion and I want to serve people in this way. So you know what? I'm going to do it. Fuck it. I'm going to do it. And that's that willpower. You need to use that. We do have willpower. Now, the nice thing is if you choose your passion and you follow your passion, it's not going to take nearly as much willpower as you think it is. Willpower will only last you so long. If you have the passion piece, that passion is going to take you far and it's going to help you stay more committed. And then when those times where that passion falls out because you're learning something new or you've just, you're doing the same thing over and over again, even though it's your passion, uh, you can bring in that willpower. And so that willpower is like that second steam engine for when your passion falls out. Sometimes my pa I love making videos, I love interacting, and I love coaching people and seeing deep transformation, but there's times where I'm like, dude, I don't even want to work with this person. They're just, they're, they're not committing. If they're not committed to the work, I'm not committed to them. So I have no passion there. So sometimes, sometimes realize, guys, whatever, even if you're living your passion or you're working for it, realize that will only get you so far. 
and when that gets you to a certain place then you got to use that willpower or you have to take a break and wait to recharge yourself so guys when it comes to commitment realize it's just me it's becoming resolute it's making a decision it says you know what this is what I'm passionate about this is how I want to show up in the world this is how I want to serve this is what gets me going this is what I really enjoy this is how I want to transform and help the world so then you show up and you use that willpower when you need to and then that creates the world around you and that creates that commitment that long-term commitment which bears fruit in the end if you commit all right guys that's all I got for this time thanks for joining me guys check out my free meditation manual there in the YouTube description box below also guys check out the free empath webinar I'm having if you're an empath whether you're empowered and you feel like you got all the uh, you know everything there's definitely some stuff here that you can learn but also guys if you're disempowered you feel like you're out of your energy you have social anxiety you're confused about which energy is yours or which what's not or you're wondering what type of empath you are um, this will definitely cover that as well too so you'll find a lot of benefit from that and guys I do want one-on-one -on -one sessions as well. All right, guys, that's all I got for this time. I wish you all the best. I'll see you soon. Peace.